Hey Dairy Road families! Since we've been learning about insects this week, I wanted to share with you a fun game about symmetry using some insect friends. So I went ahead and made a little butterfly and a little caterpillar friend, and then I'll show you how we're going to use them to play this symmetry game. Here's everything you'll need to play this symmetry game. You can very easily play this at home with whatever materials you have. You're going to need some paper to make some insect shapes, I chose to make a butterfly and a caterpillar, but you can make whatever insects you want. And then you're going to need some small objects because you're going to use them to decorate your insects. I found some little stones, some foam shapes, and some seashells. These are the objects I'm going to use. We're going to go ahead and get started playing. We're going to start with the butterfly first. So I'm going to choose to start on the right side with my pattern. And then once I get a pattern on that side, I'm going to try and match it and make it mirror on the left side so that it's symmetrical. So I'm going to choose to put a big pink shell down there and a big white shell up here. Then I'm going to get a skinny diamond and another skinny diamond. So now that I've got this wing decorated with a pattern, I'm going to have to try and match it so that it's the same on this side. So first I'm going to look at the bottom. What do I have on the bottom? I've got a big pink shell. So on this bottom, I want to make it match with another big pink shell. There we go. Two pink shells on the bottom. Now I'm going to come up to the middle. I've got two little skinny diamonds. So I'm going to put two skinny diamonds in the middle over here. One up here. One down here. Now I've got one last thing. I need to make this big shell match on this side. So I need one more big white shell. And there we go. Let's look. Well, it's not matched up exact. There we go. We've got the same shapes on both sides of my line. So this side of my butterfly's wings are symmetrical with this side. All right, I'm going to wipe it off and start over. I'm going to do another pattern on my butterfly wings. For this one, I'm going to get my white shell again and put it on the bottom. And then on the top, I'm going to put a clear stone. I'm going to put a blue stone underneath that. And then I'm going to put another blue stone by the shell. So I've got white shell and a blue stone on the bottom and a blue stone and a clear stone on the top. So now I'm going to look at this side and try and match and make it symmetrical so that the decorations and pattern on these wings look the same as this one. Right, so I know I have a clear stone so I'm going to need another clear stone so that it matches. If I put my clear stone down here, is that symmetrical? Do I have a clear stone on the bottom on this side? No. Where's my clear stone? Oh, it's up at the top. So I need to move my clear stone to the top so that my wings are symmetrical. Now I'm going to keep going and see what else is at the top of my wing. A blue stone. So get a blue stone and put it at the bottom. Next I have a white shell. So I need another, what over here? A pink shell? Would this be symmetrical if I put that? No, because this shell and this shell do not match. So they are not symmetrical. It's not mirroring. I'm going to take that away and get my white shell because now it matches. My last little piece to my pattern is my little blue stone. Now, is my butterfly symmetrical? Do the patterns on this wing match this one? Yes, they do. Now we're going to play the game with our caterpillar. For this one, I put the line of symmetry in the middle so that we're going to match the top of the caterpillar with the bottom so that the patterns on the top are symmetrical or mirroring and matching the ones on the bottom. All right, 
I'm gonna go ahead and put a clear stone on his head, then a blue stone, and then another clear stone. So I've got a clear stone, a blue stone, and a clear stone on the top. Now I'm gonna come to my line of symmetry and come down here, and I wanna make it match on the bottom. So let's see. Hmm. First I need a clear stone, and then another clear stone, right? Uh-oh. Let's take a look. Is the bottom of my caterpillar matching the top right now? Does it look like a mirror right now? Nope. That's not what comes next. Let's try again. Oh, there we go. Now it's starting to look like a mirror again. All finished. Does the top of my caterpillar look the same as the bottom? Yep, so my caterpillar is symmetrical. This game can be played on your own, that's how I'm playing it, but it's also a lot of fun if you play it with some of your family, maybe mom or dad or your brothers or sisters or someone else at your family who's at your home. You can take turns making the patterns. So the first person could make a pattern on the top and then the second person has to match it on the bottom. If they get it right, then you can switch and then the second person can have their turn to do the pattern first and the first person will match theirs. And you can keep going and you can use as many objects and things as you like. Maybe instead of only having three things, you might put six things on the top of your caterpillar to make it even trickier for the person to get it on the bottom.